So I have four pans going on here at one time. First, I took a couple handfuls of ham, chopped it up, sauteed that with some onions, and then I started some split peas here, some yellow split peas, two cups, or about two and a half cups there. And I got one cup of black lentils back there, already cooked, steaming, already done there. And just a few minutes ago, I started some penne noodles, and these are getting there. So what I want to do next? I'm gonna grab some some uh, carrots here, some frozen carrots, some shredded carrots here, just raw carrots. I'm just gonna dump some in there because these carrots cook really fast. I think these have about 10 more minutes to go until they're completely done there. They're frozen. But these shredded carrots cook really fast, just like I said. I don't know, about a half a cup, well, three quarters of a cup, almost a full cup there. Okay. And I'll put the lid on that. Just have those steam there for a minute. I'll show you what else I'm gonna do. What else I'm gonna put in there. I taste tested some of this cilantro lime salsa from Herdez and it's delicious. See that's breaking apart already. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll take this ham here and just throw this in that pot right there. Take all this ham, ham and onions, and I'll just throw this in this pot here. And it has some oil in it too, a little bit of oil from sauteing the ham and frying the ham and the onions. All right. So I'll just mix that meat in there with that there, and I'll cover it, I'll cover it here. So it um, keeps on cooking. So this sauce here is a little on the spicy side. So I'm gonna put a little bit in there. In there, And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drain those black lentils, drain this pasta here, and I'm gonna mix everything together. I'm gonna put a little bit of that salsa in there. First, I'm gonna test it first. I'm gonna take a few taste tests, kind of feel it out a little bit. And I'm also gonna put um, some cream of chicken in there. So I'm just about ready to, I'm gonna drain that right now. Look at that, fell right in my hands. So I'll go like that, turn that off. These are pretty much done. Just like that. Probably gonna spill it everywhere because I have such a small pan there, that's fine. Little spilt noodles, I'm not gonna cry over that. So I will put a little bit of olive oil on these, um, on these noodles here, just to um, make sure they don't dry out too much. I didn't put any spices in it. I put no spices in the lentils or the um, noodles or the peas there. So I'm gonna stir this up a little bit here. I'm gonna take it off the burner there. I don't want them sticking to the bottom of the pan there. It's not a non-stick, this is a stainless pan, so I'll just take that off there. Make sure that's off, that's off, that's off. And um, I'll drain, I'll drain these black lentils here. There's not really a lot of water in them anyway. I'll be really hot here. this up there's a little bit more so they don't dry out okay. pop this can open here I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit here turn that up just a little bit put the uh open this up here cream of chicken 
get ready for um, mixing it all together. And then I'm gonna taste test it just a little bit out of time in a, in a bowl there, and then I'll see what I can do there. Right. Mix all of the noodles in, the penny noodles, and all of the lentil, the black lentils. the plastic on the non-stick here. There we go. Just like that. This can be delicious, I'm telling you. Then I'll put some water in it. Oh, this smells freaking awesome. I'll dump this whole can of cream of mushroom in there. So I haven't, I haven't put any spices in this yet. So I don't, you don't want to put salt in the lentils or the, especially the peas. You don't want to put any salt in them when they're cooking. And those lentils were dry and the peas, the split peas were also dry too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in some water with this here. Okay, some hot water. Now I'm gonna um I'm gonna put a few cups of water in there. Some hot water. Just a few cups of hot water. And those those split peas will make this harden really hard. There once those split peas start falling apart. And I'm not going to cook it for too long because those noodles are pretty much al dente. I don't want to overcook the noodles too much there. Look at that soup. Look at that soup. It has onions, ham, penne, cream of chicken, lentils, and split peas and carrots. No spices yet, except for the, the, um, the, uh, the, the cream of chicken has a little bit of spices and stuff in it, but I'll do some uh, taste testing here in a minute. Once that kind of breaks up, the uh, cream of chicken still hasn't broken up all the way yet. It's still kind of clumpy. Beautiful soup. Look at that. Beautiful soup. Right there, man. So yeah, the cream of chicken hasn't quite um, dissolved yet. I didn't put any bouillon cubes in it. No bouillon cubes in it. This looks, that looks like an awesome soup right there. Big time. So the, the, um, the split peas have pretty much just, just dissolved right now already, right? And then what I can do to um, I can freeze this stuff here. I can freeze it and then reconstitute it, mix it with some water if I really want to. So I'll, I'll put a little bit in my bowl here and do a taste test. First, I'll taste test it first. Just a little dabble of it. Amazing. Mmm, I love that. Mmm. So I'll take two scoops here. Now I'll measure out some of this stuff here. Just take one tablespoon of it, or pretty much tablespoon here, for two scoops. Let's see what we got going on here. Probably way too much. Yeah, way too much. And get a good indicator on it here. Mmm. I got up. Oh my god, that's awesome. So that is super delicious. 